Hi there and welcome to this review of the One Way UK Daily Devotionals. Uh, this time for week uh, beginning Monday the 13th of September. I hope I haven't upset anybody who really wants to say I'm sorry but the week begins on Sunday the uh, 12th of September. That too is true. It's just that our devotionals run from Monday to Friday every day throughout the year and it's been going on for over eight years and God willing will continue for some while yet. But um, we're reading from Genesis 49 and I've been thinking uh, because we've reached that stage where Jacob is just blessing his sons one after another before he dies and I'm just sort of thinking reading over what we've been looking at this week and what was the most effective way of doing it and I thought well why don't we just forget entirely about the sons of Jacob and just concentrate on one point for each day that came out of our consideration of what we were reading of these blessings that Jacob was giving his sons or these words, these prophetic words he was speaking over them. So if that's okay with you we're going to proceed and say that on Monday um, we discovered that believers, that's you and me, believers in the Lord Jesus Christ have recovery powers in bad situations and Micah uh, in chapter 7 verse 8 of that book Micah really um, expressed it I think in a wonderful way uh, he said do not gloat over me my enemies for though I fall I will rise again though I sit in darkness the Lord himself will be my light and that just shows that um, there is that confidence in Christ that we will rise from our difficulties. We will become overcomers. That's what we are. We're overcomers. And uh, when difficulties come in life, of course, they are there so that we can overcome them and just be what we're meant to be in Christ. And that last little comment of Micah. Uh, though I sit in darkness, the Lord himself will be my light. Beautiful. Then on Tuesday, um, we were drawn to the New Testament, John 15, 16, where we saw that Jesus spelt it out to us. You didn't choose me, I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce fruit that will last so that my father uh, will so that the father will give you whatever you ask for using my name fruit that will last is food fit for the king of kings and uh, i think that's just an amazing thing jesus uh, he's there but actually when we gave our lives to him we didn't choose him he was choosing us and uh, Furthermore, he didn't just leave it at that. Uh, he appointed us to go and produce fruit that will last uh, so that the Father will give us whatever we ask for using Jesus' name. Um, well, if that isn't good news, I don't know what is. On Wednesday, we, um, we were actually taken... Uh, through our consideration of uh, the verse we were reading from Genesis 49 to Proverbs 25 11 and also to something that Jesus said in Matthew 12. Um, that proverb though it reads a word fitly spoken is like apple uh, is like apples of gold in settings of silver. Apples of gold in settings of silver. When you you know when you speak those things to a colleague, to someone in your family, uh, someone at church, and you think to yourself, where did that come from? <laughs> you know, I didn't know I knew that. Well, it's a word fitly spoken, and to that person it becomes like an apple of gold set in silver. In other words, something much to be desired, something uh, wholesome, and something precious. And... Uh, this is what Jesus said in Matthew 12. Um, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. 
A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth good things, and an evil man, out of the evil treasure, brings forth evil things. That means when people speak badly to you, well, you know it's not coming from God, because a good man speaks good things. And that's you and I. Um, we have the Spirit of God within us, and therefore we have the potential to speak good things to people. And those good things will be a blessing in their lives. Let's move on. Uh, moving on again, this time uh, Thursday. And um, we just mentioned here that this we were looking at the blessing that Joseph was given by his father Jacob. And we just sort of came to that conclusion that, look, hey, if we actually substitute our Heavenly Father for Jacob in this situation, then we get an accurate picture of how God views each one of us. Um, you see, because we will be strengthened by Jesus the Mighty One, Shepherd and Rock. We too have blessings of provision and abundance. And um, if we only have faith, these blessings will come upon us because we are chosen children of the King of Kings. Remember, uh, Jesus said, you didn't choose me, I chose you. God's blessings come upon you and I, not because of our righteousness, uh, not because we're some sort of like spiritual hot rod that God just can't resist blessing us. No, 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 it's got nothing to do with our qualities. It's got everything to do with the qualities of Jesus, our Saviour. And um, finally, for Friday, um, we uh, were looking at uh, actually the blessings upon Benjamin or the, the, the prophetic word concerning Benjamin. And we looked at one particular Benjamite who uh, uh, delivered um, uh, his people uh, from an oppressor somebody uh, to whom Israel had paid tribute for 18 years, a traditional enemy, if you like, of Israel, because he came from Moab. And um, uh, this man was raised up as a deliverer, and deliver he did. Um, but his story uh, is a reminder to all of us that God has prepared good works for us all to walk in, and that our destiny is to walk in harmony with his plans and his purposes. That's with God's plans and purposes. We may think our plans and purposes are, are really cool, but they're nothing compared with God's. So it really is a very sensible idea for us to line up our will and our purpose with what God has decided for us. And we can begin, first of all, with his general will, which is set out in the Bible for us all, and then move on to his personal will for us and the things that he wants us to get involved with, which comes out of the dialogue that we can have with him through prayer when we um, enter into that deeper relationship with him and really get to know our Lord and Saviour. Um, bless you, and uh, I look forward to you being with me next week as we go daily through the Bible.